Dust to dust for 91 year old former Governor Latif Jakonde, who passed on a day before. Dignitaries led by Governor Babajide Sonwolu and his deputy are here to pay their last respect to a man described by many as a role model in governance and public administration. A great man that served his people when they had the opportunity, that cared for people, he was a fantastic journalist. I was talking to somebody that said he was the first graduate to be employed in, in, in Tribune in 1965. He was talking about Papaja Kondi as the MD there. So he has done a lot of first, 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 first. But I remember him more because when I finished in 1986 in UI, he came to my graduation ceremony and I was just perplexed. His stay in public office was exemplary. And that is attested to by the amount of tributes that have poured in from different categories of Nigerians since the news of his death broke on Thursday. These artisans are among many others who will not for anything miss out the opportunity to say a final goodbye to the man who touched their lives positively in many ways. How to spend frugally the little that you have to, to, to reach as many as you can get. That's what he did in respect of low-cost housing and the schools and so on. Those schools were not the best in terms of physical facilities, but at least it served a purpose, reached out to so many. They are worried kids who might never have received education, received education under the vision. The only thing was frustrated from achieving was the tram, tram road, the rail, monorail that he wanted to introduce it to Lagos, which would have e eased the heavy congestion we're having. The event here is a culmination of a moderate burial ceremony that started in the early hours of the day at the Lukwidu residence of Alaji Jakonde, who started life out as a journalist and went on to become a governor of Nigeria's biggest state economy, leaving an envious mark. The Islamic prayers followed by his line in state where different individuals filed out to pay glowing tributes. When Jakonde became governor in 1979. He won with barely over 500,000 votes. When he won the election for his second term in 1983, he won with over 1.5 million votes. It was never recorded that Jack Conde was sharing rice, or sharing box of matches, or giving people 1,000 naira to vote. The people wanted to protect a government that gave them an opportunity to have housing, that gave them opportunity to have free education. I went to Lagos State University. I paid 90 Naira per session. It's a life well spent and lived his life to the very last for the people. Even though we were in the private school when, uh, before he became the governor of Lagos State. But as governor, when he created the public school, we were the first set of people, all myself and my siblings were moved to the public schools. His demise is a huge loss according to everyone who has paid tributes, but one constant point to them is the lesson of dedication and selflessness that the current political class can learn from the life of Alaji Jakonde, the only surviving of the five UPN governors of Nigeria's Second Republic. Tokumbo, Oye Tunji, Arise News, Lagos.